Near Asia, Business and Development Update. It's been a quick three months since Ants has had the opportunity to sit down and catch up with the Near Asia team. While much talk of Mintbase, The Bridge, and EVM has kept the attention of many in the Near community, it is easy to forget the size and accomplishments of Near's team in the Asia region. In this update, the Near Asia team breaks down their focus and future plans. What becomes clear is that Near's Asia team is not only laying a foundation for future growth across multiple countries in Asia, but they also are pioneering new use cases and solutions on top of the protocol itself. Near Mainnet joins the BSN ecosystem. Top of the agenda is the highly relevant announcement that Near has been accepted to join the BSN ecosystem for public chain integration. In context, this means that Near will integrate with official Chinese blockchain infrastructure to streamline access to the protocol for interested developers across China. Near's Amos Zhang added the following to the announcement. BSN is essentially set up to be the infrastructure of blockchains in China and possibly beyond. If you go to the website, some of the largest companies in China, including Chinese telecom and mobile, as well as some of the largest banks in China want to make it as easy as possible for developers to build on blockchain. The NIR integration with the BSN network means that NIR is on the short list for both companies and individuals in China looking to quickly build blockchain applications. The long-term value of this integration is closely connected to the development of private shards on NIR for businesses specifically Amos Zhang is quoted, quote, In the long term, NIR has something called a private shard, which is a permissioned part of NIR's blockchain, which is also interoperable with other permissioned blockchains. This is for organizations, enterprises, or government organizations who need to handle private permissioned transaction on the blockchain that is not exposed to the public. That is something we look to further explore with BSN. End quote. Pioneering private shards with BSN would allow users and companies to combine data immutability with a permission blockchain infrastructure, all connected to NIR's public network. While still under development, private shards represent a key avenue of innovation and development on NIR that would provide companies with the same benefits of existing permission chains, but with more flexibility. Next subheading. Near remains a top crypto in Asia. China remains at the forefront of the crypto industry in terms of both development and token interest. Near remains entrenched as a top 10 crypto in China with a number of new initiatives and guilds launching. Some quick updates include number one, Near's Chinese community maintains between 30 to 40 guilds alone that focus on both fostering token and exchange communities as well as building dApps on NIR. Number two, a Korean community is launching soon in collaboration with validators and other high-profile crypto teams. Number three, the NIR Vietnam community continues to expand with over 8,000 members in its community channel. Number four, NIR is opening up a Shanghai headquarters co-working space in the coming months. Stand by for more updates as the date gets closer. Next subheading, NIR's Asia team is focusing on integration and development. The final and perhaps most notable update from NIR's Asia team revolves around their approach to growing the NIR ecosystem in partnership with both existing crypto projects as well as legacy Web2 agencies. As Amos explains, quote, we are in contact with most of the top DeFi projects on Ethereum right now. Most of them are definitely interested in developing on NIR once the interoperability is complete, as they can just redeploy versions or a version of their contracts on NIR with minimum efforts. End quote. Among other projects planning to launch on NIR in the coming months, the integration of existing DeFi initiatives from Ethereum will radically expedite NIR's development trajectory. 
both in terms of interest from the crypto community, as well as tooling and infrastructure available for building new projects. Beyond native crypto apps and integrations, the Near Asia team has been able to leverage the size of the Asia user base to appeal to a completely new client for the ecosystem, Web2 development agencies. Quoting Amos, open quote, there's an interesting angle for a lot of Web2 startups to start utilizing blockchain. With just the general promotion of blockchain in China as a transformative technology, we've seen an uptake in interest in China specifically for exploring blockchain-based applications. For these types of companies, NIR is a great choice. We usually have between 500,000 to 2 to 3 million users. And these Web2 companies, large from Western perspectives, are not too big for Chinese markets. So while these stakeholders have a decent amount of usage and clientele, they're also small and nimble enough to try something in crypto." End quote. Concretely, this means that as NEAR protocol continues to mature with more enterprise blockchain offerings, the NEAR Asia team is actively cultivating interest from existing software development companies with client bases. This blueprint may be a foreshadowing of one of the next big waves of adoption in crypto, enterprise and emerging technology integration with public or private blockchain networks. In the coming months, the Near Asia team will be focusing on helping existing and new dApps from the region expand and scale on the protocol. Planning has already started for a formal Near Japanese community hub, as well as further development in Korea. With a number of projects actively building on NIR, as well as the impending Bridge plus EVM combo release, the coming months promise to be both exciting and important for the long-term development of NIR in the Asia region. End of article.